welcome back thank you so much for watching if you are today's video is going to be going to be it's going to be an exciting one um as some of you might know i worked for mac um quite a few years ago now and it was the best experience of my life it was so much fun i learned an incredible amount an amazing brand to work for and their products are insane so i thought because 80 percent of my kit is made up of their product I thought why not bring them all together to do a sort of one brand tutorial and I thought that I would use uh, MAC OG products so old products that are incredible and that are a staple in any makeup kit in my opinion these are the products that would sell incredibly well and these are the products that I feel are tried and tested and loved by a lot of people including myself so I thought I would do that now there are three products that are not MAC based only um, the eyebrows which I did off camera anyways the mascara and then the glitter that I used on the lid everything else is by MAC and I love how it turned out it's a little bit more of a dramatic look so i hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye i've got ahead and done my brows anyways the product that i do have for brows um is the mac brow set in mcgill it's a brow gel um it is tinted so it slightly tints your eyebrows and um, this one is for blonde so it makes my eyebrows a little bit lighter which is nice because as you can see, they are a little bit dark after I do that. Okay, and then today I think I'm going to be starting with the eyes. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. Wow, okay. Okay, so I'm going to be priming my eyes firstly with my concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Guys, this is my absolute favorite concealer not just from MAC, just in general, but I use it to prime my eyes as well as underneath my eyes and if I have any blemishes as well. Okay, I'm going to be trying a new technique with my eyeshadow. So, Usually I go in with my transition shade first, which is usually the lightest shade, so I'd work from lightest to darkest. But I've seen this technique on Instagram and everywhere on YouTube and I really wanted to give it a go. So this is putting your darkest, almost vibrant color on first, packing it on, and then blending it out secondly with the, the transition shade. So I'm going to be taking a small little um, dome sort of brush. This one is from Zoeva, it is the Lux Petite Brush number 231. So I'm going to be putting, starting with my all time favorite shade. When I worked at MAC, people would literally know this would never not be on my eyes. And it's called Sketch and it's a deep sort of burgundy purple. I'm going to be taking that on that little dome brush and I'm going to literally just be packing it in my crease. is again one of my all-time favorites it's called Foley and it's like a deep medium sort of toned reddish brown we're taking that on a fluffy brush and then blending out the sketch color that we have. shade first and then applying the darker shade sometimes they melt sort of together and then you don't see the individual colors if you know what I mean this way you actually see the contrast of the transition shade versus the darker shade okay I'm then gonna be going in with the shade antiqued now this is again one of my favorite shades obviously all the shades that I am using are like my absolute favorites I'm gonna be taking that antique shade on my small dome brush again and I'm going to be applying this sort of in the middle of the sketch and the transition shade. So where those two shades meet. Yeah. I'm going to be taking my fluffy brush with the shade Pori. Now this is quite a cool toned 
um, medium transition shade. And I'm just going to be lightly going over the edges. So once we are done with that, I'm going to be taking a tiny, tiny, tiny little brush. This is a small little blending brush, amazing for inner corner highlights and brow highlights. And then I'm going to be taking the most iconic highlight shade I think MAC has. And it's called Nylon. It's like a pale yellow sort of shade. And it is incredible for inner corner highlights. the lid um, I'm going to be lightly cutting the crease but not like a hectic hectic one just ever so lightly just so that we have a lighter base for the glitter that I'm going to be using I'm going to be taking that on a flat brush just the same for a long way concealer and I'm going to be creating a very soft cut crease I don't actually own a MAC glitter. This glitter is the most beautiful glitter. It is available in South Africa. It's the Creative Glamour Glitter in the shade number 15. It's like a bronzy glitter. Um, and I will link Creative Glamour down below. To secure that in place, I'll be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Link. and I'm going to be going in with Embark. Now this is just a dark brown shade and I'm going to be applying this on the outer corners just to for some um, contrast. I always feel like so cheap with my top shadow done because I feel like that's the most like stressful part. Um, I'm then going to be going inside the waterline with an absolute MAC gem. Everybody knows the MAC Smolder Eye Coal. This is the best black eyeliner in the world. So like smooth and smudgy. It's amazing for in the waterline and it's super super gentle. I've really done my skincare off camera because I did the whole process in my previous makeup video which I'll again link down below. I am just going to be applying um, a little bit of MAC Strobe Cream, another OG obviously. This is incredible, it is a moisturizer and it gives the skin the most beautiful luminosity ever. Um, and it's an, actually a really really good moisturizer. with foundation now obviously there are two OGs of a MAC foundation the MAC studio fix is iconic it is beautiful it suits everybody it is more for the oilier skin though that's why I am not using it today because I do have a drier skin the second one which is the one I'm using today is the MAC studio sculpt now this is more for dry skin it's a gel based formula and it gives um, your skin more of a lu uh, like a luminous glow concealer is the MAC Pro Longwear. I used to use this concealer and this concealer only on all kinds. It is incredible, the finish of it, the coverage, the uh, length that it goes, it's Underneath my eyes, I will take this black 
brush this is from real techniques it's their setting brush and i love this brush it gets right in there and it helps blend out the eyeshadow as well underneath your eyes i will then set just my under eyes using my favorite a setting powder of all time this old packaging sucks they've changed it now but every one of my products with this old packaging has done this where the lid has come off okay, so excuse the product but I'm gonna be taking that and just setting underneath my eyes yeah, I'm gonna be moving on to the underneath of my eyes I'm gonna be taking Firstly, some sketch on a flat little tiny shader brush, and I'm going to be placing that right underneath my waterline. I'm then going to be blending that out with a small little fluffy brush and that antiqued shade. bronzer now I again all my clients I used to use these powders now these aren't bronzing powders but I used to use them because they are a baked mineralized product so the texture of the product is extremely fine the texture of the powder um, and they work a blend out beautifully on the skin and they bronze the skin amazingly so I'm using the mineralized skin finish in the shade dark for my skin Blush um, again, it's in the line. Okay, then for my highlight, I could not do a MAC OG and not include this highlight the infamous MAC Soft and Gentle. Then I will do my mascara off camera purely because the mascara that I am using is not from MAC. The one that I always use and I would recommend a hundred times over is the MAC um, Dimension one. Oh, I will leave it on the screen but it's the MAC something Dimension. It's in a little funny sort of tube and it's got MAC in white writing. Moving on to the lips again. OG original girl. The MAC Whirl Lips Lip liner i think what made this so like hard to buy is when kylie jenner and her little lip color came out this is the color that was closest to it and i think maybe she even mentioned this if i'm a mistake i can't remember but this used to sell like hot Now, obviously, I kept it nude because the eyes are quite dramatic. This one, it used to sell like hotcakes. Again, I will leave it down below on the screen. Again, a perfect sort of Kylie Jenner um, color, and it goes perfectly with wool. Okay, guys, so I've just applied my mascara, and I'm going to be finish off, finishing off the look by setting everything. Again, using the MAC Fix Plus, and this will just set and finish off the makeup. Okay guys, and that has concluded the look and the video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this more dramatic look. I think I feel like I haven't done a dramatic makeup look on my channel in forever. They are an amazing brand. Their products are incredible, especially the products that I mentioned today. Um, if you haven't tried them out, definitely give them a go. You will not be sorry. So thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, like, and comment. I'd really appreciate it. And let me know what you think of the makeup in the video. Thanks so much, guys. I love you, and I will see you soon.